After exploring ancient Egyptian structures for over two centuries, archaeologists are no closer to discovering the truth behind some of this ancient culture's hidden secrets. If anything, some of our finds have left us with more questions than answers. So what are the 10 most mysterious discoveries found in Egypt? Number 10. Statues of Sekhmet While uncovering the Temple of King Amenhotep III, archaeologists uncovered hundreds of 1.9-meter tall statues portraying the lion goddess Sekhmet. She was associated with war and retribution, raining down fiery arrows on her enemies as she slaughtered mankind and drank their blood, or so mythology says. With more being uncovered each year, this collection of tributes to what is a hugely frightening and vindictive god could number as high as 730. This begs the question, why? The sheer manpower and resources needed to produce so many effigies would drain the king's coffers substantially. The vast majority of statues show obvious defacing and intentional damage to the head and face of Sekhmet. This may have been a show of power of man's dominion over the goddess that left so many this may have been a show of power of man's dominion over the goddess that left so many accentuated bodies in her wake. Number 9. Khufu's Secret Room In the biggest of the trio of pyramids of Giza dedicated to the pharaoh Khufu lies a secret room that has had people scratching their heads for years. This narrow, 100-foot-long void extends along the same slanted axis as the one joined to the king's chamber. It was uncovered using Scan Pyramids Project, which uses a technique that detects cosmic rays to detect cavities in the construction of massive monolithic structures. This experimental muon radiography picks up tiny subatomic particles that fly off as energy cosmic radiation bombards us from space. In fact, half a dozen muons pass through your smartphone screen every second. This is the first large-scale inner structure to be discovered in an ancient Egyptian pyramid since the 1800s, showing that just when we thought we knew it all, there is still plenty of cards the Great Pyramid is holding close to its chest. Number 8. Seraphim of Saqqara Underneath a pyramid in Saqqara lies a bizarre crypt. It's clear that 24 sarcophagi weighing more than 100 tons each were moved here and hidden at some point in time. They contain mummified bulls draped in jewels and are made from a single solid block of granite, 4 meters wide, 3 meters tall, and almost 12 meters long. The stone cutting is so accurate, it's unbelievable that it could be achieved with only basic tools made of rock. The lines are almost completely straight, the angles are sharp and match on both sides, and the surfaces are almost completely flat to a tolerance accepted by modern machining techniques. No one knows why the boxes were made so gigantic for the body of a single bull, given the pharaohs were buried in tiny sarcophagi that barely fit their bodies, or why they're hidden away deep underground. Number 7. Unknown Electromagnetic Energy No, it's not a scene out of the hit movie Stargate, but the Great Pyramid of Giza may very well be able to focus electromagnetic energy into the great chambers hidden within it. Research by theoretical physicists stumbled across it by accident, and although the ancient Egyptians may not have been aware of this bizarre property of their grandest achievement, it could actually help with future nanoparticle research. Electromagnetic radiation in the form of light, radio waves, and microwaves are channeled and focused towards these chambers and the pyramid base by the apex of the pyramid. Scattered wave energy is funneled by the angle and resonant frequency of the tip, and the very stone material they use to construct it creates nanoparticles that have promising practical applications in nanosensors and more effective solar cells. Coincidence or intelligent design? Number 6. Meteorite Jewelry The Egyptians may have been master builders, but they were restricted by the technology of the time. They did not have the concept of the wheel, and bronze was the only metal they could effectively mine and work with. Or so we thought. A 5,000-year-old tomb on the outskirts of Cairo was otherwise unremarkable except for one curious find, iron jewelry. How then could ferrous beads be made in a time thousands of years before Egypt's Iron Age? The answer comes from the stars. Meteorites that fall to Earth are almost pure iron ferrite with a little bit of nickel thrown in for good measure. In a religion that puts great emphasis on the cosmos, extremely rare metallic gifts from the heavens like this would have been the ultimate symbol of status. This still begs the question, how did they get the fire hot enough to melt the iron? 
Number 5. Dendera Light According to who you talk to, the Egyptians may have had electric lamps thousands of years before Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. The temple of the goddess Hathor at Dendera has some of the best examples of preserved carvings and hieroglyphics from the ancient world. One small part stands out from the rest, however. It seems to portray what can only be described as rudimentary lights. There's a cable traveling along the floor to a lotus base, joined to a large glass container with a snake-like filament inside. It bears an uncanny resemblance to a crook's tube, which was a device used in the early discovery of cathode rays and streams of electrons. A Norwegian electrical engineer was the first to point out the similarities, and the inscriptions nearby speak about the light of the Creator God, backing up this hypothesis. Number 4. The Tomb of the Silver Pharaoh the tomb of Susenes I is widely regarded as one of the most underrated discoveries of all time. Egyptologist Pierre Monet discovered the tomb during the time of World War II and got the shock of his life when he realized what he had stumbled upon. The sheer scale of opulence within the tomb exceeds even that of Tutankhamun's final resting place. There's an unprecedented abundance of jewels and rare metals decorating the immense chamber, but it's the unique centerpiece that demands attention. To date, this is the only sarcophagus made entirely of pure silver. The craftsmanship is top tier, with a level of exquisite detail thought to be beyond even the most talented metal workers of the time. A huge, solid gold death mask sits over his face, a sign of opulence, wealth, and power. During his reign, Egypt was in what you would call a civil war, which makes the stunning display even more puzzling. Number 3. The Saquara Bird there is an extremely odd and out-of-place artifact that stands out from all the others recovered from the Saquara archaeological site. This wooden statue does not resemble a bird so much as an aircraft thousands of years before the Wright brothers took off from the ground. It may have the facial features of a hawk, but the similarities stop there. The wings look like they came straight off a jumbo jet with an upright tail to match. The bird has no feet, instead featuring a smooth fuselage. There's a school of thought that a horizontal stabilizer once graced the statue that's now missing. Scientists have recreated a scale model using the exact measurements that actually flies, providing a lift force that's four times greater than the glider's weight. How would ancient Egyptians know about rudimentary aerodynamics? Number 2. Gods on Earth In the ruins of the Osiris Hall, dedicated to the Lord of the Underworld, bizarre carvings cover the walls. Ancient Egyptians believed that the gods once walked among us and are drawn as having great oval heads that look otherworldly. The pharaoh Akhenaten ascended to the throne in 1352 BC, and statues depicting his effigy clearly show his abnormal elongated head. Whether his skull was bound as a child in order to exact such an inhuman shape to match the carvings of the creator gods is unknown though scientists say it's very likely that a unique genetic mutation caused the skull to grow in such a weird way. Remains found that are thought to be Akhenaten support this theory, with the rear of the fossilized skull having a huge bulbous extension. And finally, number one, hidden mathematical knowledge, the biggest mystery of all time. How were the pyramids built? And why is there such a great volume of mathematical knowledge encoded into their dimensions? The Great Pyramid is aligned to within 3 60th of a degree of true north, with an accuracy that was impossible at the time and would only be possible with modern instruments. The unit of measure was the royal cubit, or 1.86 feet. That doesn't sound very impressive until you consider it is exactly 1 25 millionth of the diameter between the Earth's north and south poles. Stop and think for a moment. The ancient Egyptians did not have the wheel yet they knew this remarkable fractional dimension of our globe. The base side length is 365.242 cubits long, which is a pretty familiar number. It's the exact time the Earth takes to orbit the Sun, except nowadays we call it an even 365-day year and have an extra day every fourth leap year.